It's back to business for Sheila. Don't fly away, Jen. No, it's um, already happened once. <laughs> uh, back to business for Sheila because she's got a runner in this race and everyone is trying to push her and pull her and get her to the media conference. And she said, I've got a horse in. I've got to do my job. I think she's got plenty of time to celebrate. Uh, we've got a late scratching in the last four, which we'll check in a moment. But here, a quiver number one, Darren Gauchy for John Hawks, Jen. Or well, should that be Mary Poppins? <laughs> well, um, a quiver did have the run of the race and just missed the bob on the line there at Seymour in the Seymour Cup. A very honest type of mare. Uh, she's a, t a chance in quite a tough race, actually. Three Prince Benbarra, David Taggart. Good to see him back at Flemington aboard this horse for Tony Rossellini. Well, he got back and really charged home in the Seymour Cup. This is a similar type of race to that, and, she, and, and Prince Benbarra does come into it because he does like the rain affected. Number four shot of thunder, Scott Seymour is the rider and i think he is the rider for david edwards he's got a bruised foot he just told me before so not hopefully shot of thunder. he's okay that's scott seymour yeah, yeah scott seymour has <laughs> not shot of thunder no. but um she looks magnificent oh yes look I, uh, he, that, I should say. yeah he's a fantastic looking horse and he looks so prime for today but of course now we've got rain affected and he doesn't handle it Pete. so that's yeah. got to be a concern here uh, the 1800 meters is ideal for him but just a slight concern with the wet track number five typhoon graham woolston the trainer nasher willa takes the ride he he looks super impressive last year winning here in this race, Peter, with 57 and a half. He actually drops two kilos on that, and he's going a, a very well. I think he's got a terrific chance in the race and hard to beat. Six charming door, Damien Oliver for Russell Cameron. Average effort there at Werribee, Pete. Uh, Damien is stuck with him, so that's probably an indication that there might have been excuses for him at Werribee, so maybe a chance on the wet. Number 11, Fields of Omar. Greg Childs, the rider here for Tony McAvoy, and we wish, uh, wish a good friend of ours, Brian Martin, the chief race caller from Sport 927. Well, he's one of the part owners. Yes, uh, this horse gets back in his races. Uh, it's hard to fold his form. He's won his last four. Um, but barrier 19 might make it a little awkward for him, so a uh, place chance for him. Bit cold for thongs today, but number 13 is Thong Classic. The ones, are, ones you wear on your feet, I mean. Uh, Reese McLeod is the rider for Pat Carey. Where else would you wear them? <laughs> Keep going, Jean. OK. Uh, likes a sting <laughs> out and... Um, Probably found the, the 1400 a bit too short for him last start. I think he comes into this race with a terrific chance. He goes well on the wet, and uh, yes, he'll be hard to beat. We are racing for time. Uh, the amended starting time, 407 for the Hong Kong Jockey Club plate. Trifecta, Jen? Yes, number 13, Thong Classic from number 5, Typhoon, and number 3, Prince Benbara. What about the totes for race 8, Daniel? Again, an open race. Thong Classic's the favourite, but on the first page, Prince Ben Barra, 9.30. You can see numbers 4, 5, 6, 8, and 1, for that matter, all around the 10 to $13 mark. Uh, Bello Senor at $18. 4.30, Thong Classic, number 13. Fields of Omar, well in commission. Geronimo run, likewise. So it's a very open race. Tabaran and Jade Prince are both at big odds, numbers 17 and 18. There's only two minutes of betting time remaining. Number 17, Tabaran at 86 and 33 for Jade Prince. Tim Gossage in the betting ring. Well, the three horses, Prince Ben Barra, Typhoon and Fields of Omar, both all opened up equal favourites. I can tell you they've only come for one, and that is number 11, Fields of Omar, the best back runner in this race. It'll jump the favourite, and for my belief, I don't think Scott Seymour is on Shot of Thunder. I think he has been injured and he's not riding. I'm not too sure about the replacement, Pete. Neither am I, Tim, because uh, there's been confusion running. Did you hear who the replacement was for Shot of Thunder, Roy, in this race? No. It is Jim uh, Cassidy, is it? Jim, Jim Cassidy, yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Yep. Now, they're moving in. There's the map. We'll have a look at the selection. As we do look at the selections from the panel, we'll get the thoughts of Roy Higgins. I'm going with uh, a horse I've got a bit of time for, a number 13, Thong Classic. He's come up favourite. Condition suit here today. He's had a couple of little problems. Looked great. 12 passing shot at a bit of value. This horse looked a treat today. Uh, really did parade well. Three, Prince Benbara, excellent. And Fields of Omar, drew bad, but looks terrific. Three, 12, three, oh, sorry. 13, 12, three, and 11, Pete. Good on you, Roy. And there is Sheila's um, other runner here. <laughs> she wants to go home with Ariel. Yeah, she wants to uh, join her trainer and maybe <laughs> celebrate the win with uh, Andrella, number 16 here. And they move into the gates. Let's head upstairs to Gary Willits and Dan Malicki catching their breath after a frantic to his new Melbourne Cup. Gentlemen. Yes, thanks very much, Peter. Yes, it was a terrific uh, run. Gee, uh, those horses ran good. The Theria was a great run. To nail that English horse right on the line. Yeah, it was. Big run. The second horse gave the slip. Probably the worst going, as it turned out. And the third horse, Persian's punch, was a mighty performance. Yeah, what a great old stayer, Dan. Oh, he is, and he is a nine-year-old, and he, he covered uh, more ground than the Earl Explorers, as they say. Um, Jim Cassidy is riding Shot of Thunder here. Fields of Omar and Thong Classic are the main two. Thong Classic at 440. 
on Super Tap. Yeah, I like the look of the way uh, Prince Bambara looked here. I thought he looked very good going down to the post. And this uh, nice jar out of the ground really suits him. Probably should have won it, Seymour, I thought as well. Now, Fields of Omar out of the gates. City Habit about to go in, the New Zealander. The pattern's been set, even though they give the slipper in second, but they're well off the fence. Probably come down the centre of the track in the home stretch, you would think. Oh, I would think so. Fields of Omar going up. And the blue and gold colours on the outside stall, so they're ready to go. Race eight. All locked away. Tom Classic, the favourite. Green and gold colours, they're racing. And City Habit just a little bit squeezed up after the start, and with Shot of Thunder, they drift back, and likewise, Fields of Omar. Geronimo run jump best, and he goes to the early lead from Jade Prince and Drella. Tabaran will be handy from Prince Ben Barra, then came Chiming Door. Wider were at Quiver, and also Neptune's Journey. They're going up towards the leaders. Passing Shot, who usually leads in its races, is back to about midfield. And then came Typhoon from Valo Senor, Fields of Omar, City Habit. Three lengths to Shot of Thunder, and Thong Classic, the favourite, is back last on settling. About 1,200 to go. Geronimo run by a length to a quiver. Two lengths to Jade Prince, third on the inside of Tabaran. Neptune's Journey, three deep. Then Prince Ben Barrett in the red colours. A length and a half to Andrella. Next is Chiming Door from Typhoon. And Passing Shot on its inside. A length away City Habit, just scrubbed up a little bit. Wider fields of Omar creeping into it from Bellow Senor, Shot of Thunder. And two lengths to Thong Classic, about 12 lengths off the lead. Approaching the 800 metres. Geronimo run by half a length onto Quiver. In third position on the peg, on the fence, is Shot of Thunder. And then came Neptune's Journey, followed by Tabaran. Few of them making moves wider out. Fields of Omar starting to creep into it now. And also Typhoon with Andrella. Shot of Thunder will be very wide on the bend. And Bellow Senor winding up from well back. Prince Binbara plots a course uh, nearer the inside. It's Geronimo run almost hard up against the rails, leading to the straight. Prince Binbara gets through and it's up to challenge a quiver. Typhoon runs on with Neptune's journey. Jade Prince shot of Thunder and Fields of Omar down the outside. They're finishing well. Fields of Omar looms up with Shot of Thunder. Thong Classic from a mile back. It's Shot of Thunder. Fields of Omar from Thong Classic. Fields of Omar in front of Shot of Thunder. Thong Classic runs on. Fields of Omar got clear though. Two links to Shot of Thunder. Thong Classic. Fields of Omar's home. Fields of Omar by two links. Second placing goes to Thong Classic in front of Shot of Thunder. And then came Typhoon. Uh, back behind those runners was Neptune's Journey from Bellow Senor. Chiming Door. And then City Habit. Tell you what, they won't go to the fence for the rest of the day, that's for sure. Geronimo run and Prince Benbara got bogged down. Then passing shot Andrella, a quiver. And then Tabaran and Jade Prince. Yeah, very good winter field as Omar. Ridden by Greg Childs. Tony McElroy's prepared it. And uh, that's great to see them get a nice winner. But gee, he looks a smart horse. Peter, yes. what do you reckon? Very smart horse, I'd say. Very smart horse. Love the way he finished off his race, Gary in the blue and gold colours. We're going to pick them up coming around the home turn. And Thong Classic, what a run that was. Came from last, right on the outside he is. Yeah, and uh, let's identify them. Fields of Omar there. Thong Classic there. Shot of Thunder there. The horse that we didn't think would probably handle the ground. Let's roll him at the top of the straight and you'll see how well this horse finishes off his race. He, he went to the line like a good race horse, I think, Gary. Oh, very good. Yes, I thought, uh, you see Prince Benbarra, that's him on the red with the blinkers. He stopped and also Geronimo run right in there. As Dan said, they Surprise won't be coming they down there again. Surprise they went there, to be yeah. truthful. Look at where the place get has come from. They're almost the three widest runners. Yeah. Shot of Thunder ran right up to his looks too. And it's just a shame that he probably got an unsuitable track today. He's run a terrific race for a horse that maybe is not at home in that sort of going. Yeah, it's a very good win, but as you can see here, Field of Omar, by oh, jeez, nice strong win. That's, uh, what, uh, five on the trot. He's going well. They've got a big opinion got of him. Got to be Martin, good to do that. Whom we all know and congratulate. Uh, the team are pretty confident. They know they've got a good horse here. When you look at that peak downstairs, just makes you wonder how big gave the slip went. Yeah, exactly. Um, and to be five in front with 300 metres to go, you know, it was just an enormous effort. But as you said, Dan, they will not be going anywhere near the fence. This is a shot of thunder in the dark colours on the outside. And, of course, the horse on the extreme outside, finishing on very well. Thong Classic is one to put in the book. But Fields of Omar, five out of five. They don't do that too often. But he's done it very well here in the Hong Kong Jockey Club plate. Let's go to John Letts with the winning rider, Greg Charles. Yeah, Greg, uh, Fields of Omar, you've had, what, three rides on him now for three wins, That's right, yeah. yeah. This horse, he, he came to Adelaide 
Oh, he, had, he won a coin enough. He won on the coin. He went to Adelaide. He couldn't get a run in Victoria at, uh, in the metropolitan area. So they took him to Adelaide. He won three on the trot. And, uh, and today, I'd say, was his most impressive, wasn't it? It was. Um, it was a tough race. And uh, he got the brakes at the right time. And I've ridden for one of the owners, Martin O'Connor, for a long time. And uh, I was pleased to be part of uh, another one here on Cup Day. How far can he go, mate? He got 1,800 today yeah. pretty easy, didn't he? He was quite relaxed. He'll run further, no problem. Well, the boys will be looking for a couple of next year, the, the group, because there'll be plenty of media coverage for you tonight, Greg, I'd say. Yeah, well, I hope. I'd expect it, too. <laughs> congratulations, mate, and congratulations to the owners, too. Great mob of guys. And Tony McAvoy. And yes, well done. Oh, mate, he says. Now, I've worked with this gentleman for a long, long time. His voice is very familiar to you. Brian Martin, the Chief Race Caller for Sport 927. Oh. How does that feel to win a race on oh. Melbourne Cup Day? Pete, that, that's the Cox Plate to us. That, uh, that is just sensational. Here's a horse we brought at the sales. We put into a, a group of people way back when the late Peter Hayes was alive. And he's won everything this time around. That's his fourth win on the trot. And um, we just thought he could come here first time up to the 1800. Step up in grade, hoping like mad. The rain came. We knew that it'd be suited by the, you know, the softer track. But just hoping, Pete, no, it's the greatest thrill of my life. We just saw the replays. He went to the post like a really good race horse. Uh, he's, he's a very genuine horse. He'll go on now to the um, Eclipse, I'd say. It's either that or maybe even the Railway Stakes in the West. But if Northerly's going there, I think we'll dodge him. <laughs> um, this is what racing's all about, Pete. This is, the, this is the greatest thrill. It really is. And before you go, just get the two women in your life over here. Brian's daughter, Rebecca, and Jill Martin. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of you. Tony McAvoy's here as well. Tone, jump in the middle. I think you've got some pretty happy owners here. It's a great trainer, this guy. It's not a bad day to have a winner. <laughs> Good on you, Tony. Congratulations. Well done, Brian. Good on you. Thanks, Thank mate. Thank you so much. Fields of Omar, the winner of Race 8, the Hong Kong Jockey Club plate. As Greg Charles brings this horse back to scale, we will take a break on our continuing coverage of the 2001 Tui's New Melbourne Cup Day.